Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a little while. Uh, just been doing boring maintenance stuff. Uh, went on some vacations with the family. Uh, put some pictures of the vacation there. And then uh, really haven't been doing too much with the Mustang. Everything's just been stupid, boring maintenance stuff. We didn't have any snow or hardly any snow this year. Just didn't get the snowmobiles out. I didn't even start it. I didn't even start either one. Um, so just not been much to film lately or worth filming in my opinion. But uh, I'm going to try to get back into it, uh, just doing some stuff. we got the 6x6 six six in here. The last couple of years, we haven't pulled the plow mount off, and it kind of makes it hard to use for anything else, do any of the fun stuff with it. So I'm going to get that off today. Uh, we, got, we did get a UPR anti-roll bar for the Mustang, so we'll be filming that in the next week or so. Uh, got a couple things. I've pulled a few things apart in the Mustang. The left turn signal hasn't been working, and it's not a fuse or a bulb. It's something in the wiring, so we need to pull that all apart. Um, I'm sure I, when I trimmed down the wiring harness and moved some stuff around, I just made a bad connection and it came loose. So we'll find that, fix that, and we'll get some video of that. Um, so we're gonna try to start putting some videos out back again. So uh, let's get into it with the six by six, getting this plow mount off. So what's up guys? All right, so we did this. I think, I think I got a good up when I built this. Uh, yeah, we did, we did do a video about that. Um, so when I built this, I tried putting these nuts on the outside to try to make it a little bit easier when we pulled this off. So just cleaning the threads off before we try to unload it because there's dirt and mud and stuff in there. So hopefully these, oh, that one's came loose. Yeah, that's no good. Let's see how that works out for us. All right, let's try to pull this apart, see where it's at. Bad. We're able to hold it on there on the back side pretty easily. Now we got to do the other side. I don't think I want to film the other side. So we got the other side apart. Take these off real quick. This would be like that. I don't know, a little loose. A couple things loose here. Just like a couple using me using some bright clips on this thing. Nope. A little bar we put on there to help. Make it a little more rigid. Oh, that's gonna come right off. Let's get the garage door open.
go over here and look at this thing. So, you can see that's kind of got a curve to it. That's bent. And it's kind of pulling these in a little bit, which is what I was talking about. These are bent. A little bit, this one a little more. You can see it. So, I think my biggest problem is I didn't triangulate it back to here. So, I don't know. I think, I don't know if I'm going to completely redo it or at some point just redo. I think I'm going to just redo these bars and then triangulate it. I'll cut this off and then redo these, these two with some bigger, bigger tube and then maybe do a triangulation back here and here to help keep it from bending and see how that goes. I was hoping these would do that a little bit, but apparently not. Uh, but we'll see. So that's it for taking it off. We'll get these wheels on and then maybe we'll take it for a drive and show you in the mud. There we go. Wheels and tires back on. Snow plow mount is off. Uh, we'll wait until Jack gets home. We'll go out and uh, maybe mess around in the yard. Maybe try to go through the little swamp we have in the back of our uh, property. And uh, see you guys in a second. So, a few days later from when we were uh, doing the work on the 6x6, Jack and I are going to take it out and uh, put it through the swamp. Maybe uh, let him drive it a little bit. Are you going to ride or are you going to... Next driving. We're not getting stuck. We might have to drive in it, maybe. Going through the swamp? Yeah, we might have to drive through it. There used to be a trail through here, buddy. Yeah. Uh, they've kind of grown, they haven't driven through it in a little while, so it's overgrown.
Hold it up just a bit. So guys, there we go. Got out, drove the 6x6. Jack drove it a little bit. Still not quite strong enough to really yank on it and steer it, but you were steering it around a little bit. Yeah. Yep, and I helped him a little bit. Uh, so I was going through the swamp. He doesn't like going through the swamp. It smells. It smells pretty bad, huh? Yeah, sometimes it smells. It's it's a swamp. It's stinky. Just like Shrek, right? Yeah. <laughs> <That's sad. laughs> and then, uh, uh, so then we drove around. We went through some other places. That spot where you saw where I went down and up, we tried to go the other way. And we couldn't get up. It was too steep. So I didn't know about going down it with him in it. So we, he had, I had him film me go down. And we drive through those reeds and make like a little tunnel in the summer, right? Yeah, yeah when they all grow back, it's kind of cool. And uh, we're just cruising around. It was fun to get it out. It's the first time in a while because we always left a, we left a plumber on it last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So got out, play with it. We'll probably get some more videos of going out on it right now. I've got stuff to do to the Mustang, but... Uh, you can't see behind the camera there, the wife's minivan sitting in here. We've been fighting getting the right parts to fix it. The power steering uh, rack sprung a leak in one of the lines that are actually on the rack. And you can't get just that line. I was trying to go through some junkyards to get it, and the ones they sent weren't right. Yeah. And, you know, it, yeah. So now I had to order a whole new part to get the line that I, I had to buy, order a whole new steering rack to get that line. I do the whole rack, but it's so rusty, right? We can't get it apart. The you got to drop the subframe out of it, and I can see into the bolts that they're just rusted solid, and I do not want to have to drill and tap bolts on the subframe. So I just ordered a whole rack. I'm going to replace that line, and uh, we're going to get that back up. But now we're just waiting on parts. So that's holding up everything on doing cool stuff on the Mustang, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then we got to do some exhaust work to. Your brother's car, right? It's got a little leak. We've got the parts here for that, but when the van happened, that put all of that on hold. Everything's just got pushed back because of the van. But we went out and had fun today anyway, because yeah. we're waiting on parts. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Click the like and subscribe if you saw, like what you saw. And uh, speaking of that, in the last month or so, we've been getting more subscribers. I don't know what people have been watching. Some of the views have gone up, but we're still getting stuff. So, if you're new here and you're watching stuff, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, We'll see you guys next time, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Later, guys.